It's World Cup round number six today in Bochum, a former mining town in Germany. A new addition to the UCI World Cup for women this season. We see Emma Johansson, number two in the overall classification. And birthday girl Georgia Bronzini taking some time for the fans. Kirsten Wild is signing autographs. As was Marianne Vos. The Giro Rosa and La Course winner is looking forward to this race. Marianne, we're uh, one week after La Course. Is the form still good? Well, uh, it can't be gone in one week, so, uh, but yeah, I feel good. You did a lot of criteriums, which are also on these inner city circuits. Is that an advantage today? Well, I think the speed and the acceleration you need for the criteriums, you also need for a course like La Course and also for this World Cup Spa Casa Giro. So, uh, yeah, I uh, hope to use it as an advantage. I think today is a good opportunity for me because uh, this uh, maybe this race fits more for me than the other two that uh, we have to do. So I'll try to, to get uh, this opportunity and I hope uh, all goes well. That was Elena Cicchini, the Italian champion, on taking over the best young riders jersey from Pauline ferrand Prevot, who's not in Germany. Large crowds on this sunny Sunday. It's at 27 degrees without any chance of rain. The stats, 128 riders, 23 teams for a 124 kilometer race. Eight laps on a 15 and a half kilometer city circuit with a 600 meter climb in the middle. And then the peloton leaves the city center of Bochum to head towards the climb, the only real obstacle in this course. And it's Bulls Dolmans who breaks open the race with Megan Guarnier. Mayanna Vos quickly counters the attacks. We're now in the third lap of eight at the moment. Three riders to stay clear, but the pace was really high and it was very hard to actually stay away. Then again, six strong riders. They try to break free with Vos in the lead, followed by Megan Guarnier and Kirsten Wilt. Also the German champion in this group, as is Claudia Lichtenberg and Valis Scandalara. But even with these strong riders, they couldn't stay clear from the peloton and were reined back in again. And then it's time for the first sprint for the UCI sprint classification. Marianne Vos leads out Ida Sloppendel, the Dutch champion. They're on to the last turn and then it's 300 meters to the finish. Slappendal is not really a sprinter and Anna-Maria Stricker takes the points. Slappendal comes in second and she repeats that in the second sprint of the day. She takes back the jersey she won in the first World Cup of the season in the Ronde van Drenthe. Also the UCI mountain jersey competition was wide open. The top four riders aren't here in Germany and Astana B. Pink's Alena Amia Lusik had a great opportunity to take back the jersey she held after Trofeo Binda in March. Her Astana teammate paces the group up the 600 meter climb halfway into the fourth lap. Brenauer is following Amia Lusik's wheel. And behind her, the pack is struggling. Coming towards the top, the Belarusian champion does as expected, and she takes the full six points to take over the lead in the classification again. German champion Lisa Brenauer is second, ahead of Emilia Fahlin. The descent was a technical one, with two 90-degree turns, but the specialized Lululemon riders steer clear through. Onto the start of the final lap, a solo attack by Japanese champion Mayuku Hagiwara for Wiggle Honda. She came third in the Giro Rosa third stage, which was the first podium place for the Japanese. It's a bold move by a lone rider. She still has one full 15 and a half kilometer lap to go. 
Aguilera gets joined by three riders. It's Nina Kessler for Bulls Dolmans, Lauren Roney for Specialized Lululemon, and Vale Scandalara for Orica AIS. But in the back, you can already see the peloton coming back, and the race is coming back together. Onto the last climb of the day, we're at seven kilometers from the finish. Orica AIS makes the pace on the climb, and then it's Emma Johansson attacking the field. She is 160 points behind World Cup leader Lizzie Armistead, who's not racing here today. So the Swedish rider can make up for some of her deficit if she wins this race. Emma Johansson gives her all, and she attacks the descents aggressively, taking the corners with style. But back on the home straight, she's already looking behind her, and she can see the peloton coming. Inside the last four kilometers, she's caught by giant Shimano's Marijn de Vries working for sprinter Kirsten Wilt. But Johansson's attack did cause a split in the peloton, only 25 to 30 riders up front, but all the main protagonists are there in the last kilometer. The last turn at 300 meters from the line is going to be decisive. The first or the second woman through is going to win this sprint. Ellen van Dijk attacks the corner first, but Marianne Vos is right there. She opens the sprint very early with Finland's Lotte Le Pisto very soon. From the Finnish woman's wheel is Georgia Bronzini, but Marianne Vos has a considerable lead and she takes the victory in this World Cup in Bochum. Another victory for Marianne Vos. She beats Georgia Bronzini and then four national champions, Lotta Le Pisto for Finland, Jolien Dora for Belgium, Lisa Brenauer for Germany, and last year's winner, Christina Milleris, comes in sixth. Kirsten Wild is only ninth today. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good race. It was, it was hard. It's a, it's a city circuit, um, but, but still, it's, uh, yeah, it's fast, and uh, you have to stay in the front to uh, stay alert. It was hard to, uh, to get away. We tried several times to attack, um, but at the end it was a bench sprint. And uh, yeah, the team uh, did well to, uh, to make it a hard race and also well to uh, put me in the right position. It's Vos's first World Cup victory of the season. Giorgia Bronzini comes in second on her birthday and Lotte Le Pisto is a happy woman because she's never been on a podium before. All smiles from our top three today in the Spa Kassen Giro in Bochum. Lizzie Armistead still leads the overall World Cup standings and Johansson made up a little bit of her deficit. Marianne Vos enters the top ten and Georgia Bronzini is now fifth. We've got three new leaders in the other classification. Ida Slappendel as best sprinter. Alena Amilusic leads the climbing classification and Elina Cecchini is now best young rider in the World Cup.